Hello, my name is Samantha Seeley, and on today's episode of the Etown Abroad podcast, I'll be talking with occupational therapy major Holly Phillips about her experience studying abroad in Newcastle, Australia. our first guest on the show. Welcome. Thank you. Um, Thank you for having me. Could you please introduce yourself for us? Tell us uh, your name, your major, and where you studied abroad. So I'm Holly Phillips. I am a senior occupational therapy major, and in fall of 2019, I studied abroad in Newcastle, Australia. Wow. Um, (laughs) And you studied abroad for a semester there? Yeah, so I got there like middle of July and I left I left Newcastle December 30th and I or sorry December 1st and then I traveled and got back um to my home at like December 15th Mm -hmm. so why did you choose to study abroad there I have always just thought Australia was just like a really cool place and like we don't like learn a lot about it so it seems just so like distant and like just like so interesting um I also I don't speak another language, so I did want to go to a place that like spoke English because I was like, I don't speak another language, I can't really do that. Um, and Australia just being so far away, it was like, this is somewhere I'm not really going to get to go again for such an extended period of time to really explore it. So I was like, let's go, let's go for study abroad. What was the most interesting thing you learned about Australia while you were there? Hmm. I feel like... Uh, through like the um aboriginal class um i feel like i learned a a lot about um their like native population and like things that i didn't know um because like during like colonization and everything like they their native population was treated like pretty poorly um as like most are (laughs) but um they're doing a lot to try to like um to like fix that and like amend that um so it was really cool to learn about like what happened and like the current human rights issues and like what they're doing to counteract that um so that was really cool one thing they do in like almost everywhere i went um was they do an acknowledgement of country so they acknowledge um the people that were on this land which was really cool that they just like they acknowledge that it's not really brushed to the side like we were they did that at our university but also like at like the sydney opera house like there's constantly um, the acknowledgement of country that's like playing. So that was one thing that was really cool that I learned. Is that something you'd like to see done here in the U.S.? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, that's something like we, it was really cool to see that because I was like, we do not do enough for our native population. So it was really cool to see that acknowledgement. I was like, wow. I was like, I have no idea, like, basically from where we are, like where, like the people that were on this land before us, like I don't know anything about that. It's like not talked about it all so it was like cool and it was definitely something I'd want to see done here. Mm -hmm. Did you at any point uh, feel a little homesick while you were abroad? I actually didn't. Um, I was surprised um, but I didn't. I think partially because um, so I had one of my very close friends was studying abroad in New Zealand and for her like mid-semester break she came to Australia so that was like end of August or something so it was like like within a month I got to see like a familiar face um and then in October my sister actually came to visit for two weeks so it was like another familiar face which was really nice um and actually a friend that I grew up with in my hometown who I was really close with is like finishing his degree in Sydney and I was like three hours away from Sydney like by train so I would go visit him sometimes so like I had a lot of like familiar people around me so I think that's part of the reason that I like never really got homesick because like any time that like I like a lot of my friends were getting homesick I was like oh I just saw one of my friends from home so it like it kind of like counteracted that and then of course you also made friends while you were yeah yeah that all my friends who were amazing people (laughs) how did you meet them so um I went in like a through a group called like CIS abroad um so It was kind of nice because we all had like an orientation um in Cairns, um which is in like the northern part of australia like by the great barrier reef um and we spent like three days there so it was kind of nice because um from that group there were like 12 of us who were all going to 
Newcastle. So it was nice because we kind of had like a little just like it was just like a comfort group of like, all right, I know I'm going to be with these people. I know at least someone. Um, and then during orientation, I met um, one of my absolute best friends now. Um, we met each other during, during orientation and then we met like again on like this tour of like the city. We did like a walking tour of the city and um, my like program coordinator was like telling us beforehand she was like everyone always meets like these great people on these walks and we were like yeah all right and then like she's my absolute best friend now <laughs> um so that was really cool and then like through my roommates I met a lot of um I made friends with like a lot of different Australians um they had like a potluck dinner one of the first nights um and I got really close with one of their friends and like we hung out after that and like he took me like snorkeling and like so like I met like uh, a lot of my Australian friends like through like my roommates and classes and everything mm-hmm. Do you keep in contact with a lot of them? Um, yeah, I keep in contact with a few of them. I keep in contact with a lot of the Americans because it's a little easier with like time difference and everything. Um, but yeah, I still keep in contact with uh, a decent amount of the Australians. And so I went back to Australia in March actually to visit my boyfriend and I got to see some of my roommates, which was cool because I was got to see them. I was like, hi. <laughs> so it was nice to like see them again and like catch up. What did you do for fun? I traveled a lot (laughs) um i traveled all around australia i went to um new zealand and fiji but then like within newcastle um there are like four beaches uh right within newcastle so i went to the beach a lot i explored like the downtown area um but yeah the beaches was a main thing (laughs) did you have a favorite place you traveled to either inside or outside of australia um i went to Melbourne, Australia, um, like during, I traveled for like two weeks after the semester ended and that was one of my favorite places because I, um, it's like a pretty big city and like I like cities but also it was really cool because it was like right near the beach. Um, I went and like saw penguins like one night, like it was like there was so much there encompassed in this one area. Um, So Melbourne was one of my favorite places I went. Did you go with other people? So um, I traveled for two weeks after the semester ended uh, by myself um but when i went to melbourne um my boyfriend actually came and surprised me i started dating um an australian guy while i was there so he came and surprised me in melbourne and so we spent time there so it was really cool (laughs) wow how did you meet your boyfriend so he actually um moved me in he was like the so each floor had a resident mentor which is basically just like an ra um, he wasn't on my floor, but he was one of the two like RMs that moved me in. Um, so I knew him throughout the semester. We had like hung out and stuff. And then close to the end of the semester, we like started hanging out more and more. And we were like, oh, I really like you. <laughs> like, I really like you. I want to um, continue to date you. So, yeah. But yeah, it was funny because he actually was like the first person I met <laughs> when I like got to Newcastle. Like he was the one who moved me in. So it's kind of funny. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> What do you feel most grateful for in your study abroad experience? Um, I, I think for the people that I met, because they all had such a lasting impact on me. And also I I met my current boyfriend, which is just such like a big thing, but also um, the, the people I met had such a strong impact on me. Um, so yeah, I would say the people. Do you think you'd want to return to Australia to live there one day? Yes, I actually, I actually do. That's um, the current plan with uh, my boyfriend. He's going to come here once he's done with school. And then a few years after I finish, um, the plan is to move back to Australia, which I am very excited for. (laughs) (laughs) That's amazing. What did you learn about yourself while you were abroad? I, like... I feel like I learned a lot about my like independence and like confidence like I like I feel like I am not a confident person at all um but then like being in Australia and like just honestly just getting to Australia and just like navigating all of that was just like wow you can like you can really do this um but then also through like traveling um because uh me and four of my friends went and rented a camper van and drove around New Zealand drove around the South Island in New Zealand um and that was something that I just like never imagined that I could like we just did everything for that and it was really cool um, and I was like wow you can like really do this um, and then especially with traveling um, for the two weeks by myself so I went to um, Tasmania Melbourne and Fiji um, and then I flew to San Francisco to see my sister and 
it was something that I like like I'm trying to imagine like 15 year old me like tra- like picturing herself traveling like by herself all around in like a foreign country and it would terrify me but I was like yeah that's what I'm gonna do like it like early on I was like yes yeah, so I'm gonna book these tickets and like I'm just gonna travel um so I like learned like how much I am capable of like while being abroad How was study abroad different from what you'd imagined? Um, I feel like one of the things like going into study abroad, it was like, I have to be doing something constantly. Um, and that like, isn't true. <laughs> and like, that's really hard. That's a really like high expectation. I feel like I realized that very early in. It was like the third day of like um, orientation. And we were like, we had orientation in the morning and then we had like a free afternoon. And like everyone just like wasn't entirely sure what to do because also we were we were all like exhausted we had just traveled a lot like everyone just kind of needed a rest day but it felt like incorrect to have a rest day we're like in Australia we have to be doing something um so I feel like that was different because in like I I did a lot of things but in my mind I was like I'm gonna do everything all the time and it's like you can like rest like it's you're in a different country that's enough on its own you don't always need to be doing something else what other advice do you have for students considering going abroad or who are going abroad um I would say try to talk to and meet as many people as you can because I feel like I just learned so many cool and interesting things from the people in my classes, the people I lived with. Um, so definitely try to talk to the people. And I know I said you don't always have to be doing something, but take advantage of opportunities like when they present themselves. Obviously, don't always you don't always have to do everything. Like you can relax, but if someone's like, "Oh, I'm gonna go snorkeling for the day. Do you want to come?" Like if you're available and you know not like burnt out, like you should do that. Like try to take advantage of as many um, opportunities that present themselves um, in that way, just to like get, just like to experience their culture more. Even if it's just something simple, like going to dinner with friends, like it doesn't have to be a huge thing, but like take advantage of that. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me. Subscribe to Etown Abroad Podcast wherever you listen to podcasts and follow us on Instagram at Etown Abroad. The music for our show today was composed by Elizabeth Baker and Avery Faust. For more information about our study abroad programs, visit etown.edu.